There's a lot of anticipation for the premiere of Portlandia on IFC January 21st, especially here in Portland. Uh, along with that excitement, there is also some controversy. At the center uh, of the controversy is a group of local folks calling themselves the stereotypical citizens of Portland, Oregon, concerned about being lampooned on Portlandia, or sco -poc -blop. <laughs> Several members of the group are here tonight, and Carrie, uh, I apologize, but they would like to address you in a town hall f format, and I said it was a bad idea, but I got voted down. That's okay, we'll talk to them. Okay, great, so here now is sco -poc -blop. Blessings. My name is Bodie Love Dragon, and I am one of the founders of Scopaca Blop. By day, I run a cruelty-free pest control service for community gardens in Southeast. I'm known as the Slug Whisperer. Thank you. Thank you, I'll be signing books in the lobby. Carrie, we want to share these words. The people of Portland love to live, and we live to love, and most of all, we live to love to laugh. The question is, will you be laughing with us or at us? Well, I hope you and everyone else will be laughing at Fred Armisen and me. Oh, I see what you did there. That, that's funny. I'm going to hand this over to Barb Sawyer, fellow Skopaka Blopper and president of the Lesbian Timber Workers Union. <laughs> How you doing? Love your music. Thanks. Uh, I didn't know there was a lesbian timber industry. Yeah, knock on wood. There's a 12% chance that wood you just knocked on was timber felled by a lesbian logger. Now, like Bodie's saying, we're worried that on this Portlandia show with you and your thunder pants, you won't look past the rain to see our true colors. Yeah, it's a freak flag we got flying, but we all know how the world feels about freaks. Now, I'd like for us to hear from my friend Kip Schnitzer, poet, sixth generation Portlander, and inventor of the tall cumbent bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never heard of that either. Uh, it's, a, it's a tall bike, and it's a recumbent bike. It's a tall cumbent bike. <laughs> um, anyways, I, I was going to read a poem about you here, but when I, when I wrote it, I thought you were Corin Tucker. Uh, <laughs> there, there are some really great rhymes, too, but now they don't make much sense. Um, <laughs> I, I had a good line, though. Uh, Fred Armisen, don't harm us, son. Uh, doesn't matter now. <laughs> you know, I think I hear where you guys are coming from. I don't want people to worry that Portlandia is only mocking Portlanders. The reason Fred and I were inspired to do this series and set it here is because we love Portland. We know it's more than a quirky city populated by skewed variations on weird stereotypes. But it's not. Nobody knows that better than us. Here, I'll show you. Let's pass the mic around. The rest of you, state your name and occupation. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Ted Gund. I'm a massage therapist and a chanterelle mushroom wrangler. <laughs> hi, I'm Cinnamon Wind, unemployed sex worker, Reiki practitioner, and barista. <laughs> I'm Mike Blue. I play Captain Kirk at Star Trek in the park. <laughs> also, also a barista. Hi, I'm Balthasar Gomez. I'm a calligraphic blogger. I, uh, I handwrite musings on urban growth and the art of calligraphy on hemp stationery. And then I use them as trade liners at the food carts. My name is Ferial. I run an elitist record store. None of you have any business going to because everybody's taste in music sucks. Brian Pomeroy, non-alcoholic home brewer, competitive beer grower. I'm Meadow Meadows. I don't own a television. I'm a barista. Hi, I'm Jeff Hamilton. Oh, wait, I didn't want to say my name because I'm a biodynamic ganja farmer. <laughs> Whoops, can I redo that? So you see what we mean, Ms. Brownstein. Uh, hey, why are you scribbling in that moleskin? Oh, hang on. Okay, biodynamic ganja farmer. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff. Okay, season two. Well, at least nobody said they work in a feminist bookstore, you know? Oh, oh actually, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, Part-time. Yeah. <laughs> Our point is, we are low-hanging fruit. Easy pickings. Uh, Slow-moving targets. And we're afraid that when this comes out, we'll be like Minnesotans after Fargo. Or like the New Jerseyans after Jersey Shore. Or like people from the South. <laughs> See, Portlanders are used to indirect communication and passive aggression. We are too thin-skinned for the kind of direct ridicule we'd have in store. 
Look, I, I'm not really sure what you guys want from me here. When you introduce Portlandia to the world, please be kind. Yeah, and if there's a laugh at our expense, please make sure it's an expense we can afford. I don't want to tune in and see some clown making a mockery of me. Don't worry, if we had a slug whisper, we'd have you play yourself. Me? Really? Oh my god, on TV? Sure, I mean, yeah. Oh my god, where do I sign? And, and uh, Carrie, I, I've always felt that tall, cumbent bicycle poets are underrepresented on television. Well, maybe you can change that, Kip. Oh my god, I think I'd like that. <laughs> and Barb, this could be a great way to let the world know about lesbian timber. Well, yeah, like the fact that New Orleans is being rebuilt with 12% sapphic forest products. <laughs> Hey gang, all of a sudden, I can't wait for Portlandia. Who's with me, huh? I'm with you, Bodie. All right. I'm with you. Yeah. Our thanks to Sko Pockablop and our apologies to Carrie Brownstein. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie, let's talk about the show.